Hey, it's me, Cabrina, and welcome back to my channel. So, I know I've been gone for like literally a year and a half. Like, I know it's crazy. I plan on having an explanation video mukbang or mukbang one of the two that type of style um either before this video post or right after this video post i'm not really sure yet i do plan on filming it tonight so you might just see this look popping twice but it's okay bear with me so yeah um i wanted to create this like nice like peanut butter chocolate peanut butter nude and neutral cut crease i hope i made this video as easy as I possibly could make it for you to recreate and yeah that's pretty much it I'm not gonna ramble we're gonna go ahead and get started so I already did my eyebrows off camera as well as prep and prime my eyelids I used um LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade fun and then I just set it with um just a translucent setting powder I personally like to set my um concealers because the way these eyelids are set up, if I do not set them, it's going to crease up and it's going to look a high mess, okay? So, we're going to move on along, or move along, there we go. We're going to move along to the actual eye look. So, um, I'm going to use the matte book by um, the Crayon Case. I love this, I love this palette. I just want to say I love this book. <laughs> I love this palette, y'all, like seriously. This is the first. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, Coastal Sense Blending Brush. This is um, the BRC N06 brush. And it's just a fluffy um, brush. It's not really a tapered brush, although I am going to use tape brush next. And I am going to dip into, into this shade right here. Now, the thing that I love about the crayon case, well, this palette specifically, whatever. The thing that I love about this eyeshadow palette right here is that it is so buttery. Like, the pigmentation is on point. Like, the color buildup is easy. It goes on, like, really smooth and buttery. Like, y'all, this palette right here. This palette right here is amazing. So I'm just going to uh, build my color up. I'm going to do this at least three to four times. Depending on how I want my color payoff to be. Right now this is my fourth time dipping into this eyeshadow shade. And the reason why I like to count is so that I can do it evenly on the other eye. Did I have that blended? I'm going to go in with my second blending brush. This is also from Coastal Sense, and this is the BRCS08 brush. And this brush is more of a tapered brush versus the first one, which is the blending brush. I'll hold them side by side so y'all can see, if you can see the difference. One of them is more fluffy and one of them is more tapered. I love the tapered brush because... The taper brush is going to put the product exactly where I want it to be, which is more so in my crease area. So, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. You just want to terrorize some stuff. Yeah. Hey, look at your shelf. Oh, look how cute you are. Oh, you're so cute. Mm. Mm. I don't care. You're so cute. So, next, I am going to dip into this shade right here. And it's more like on a muddy, almost like a black brown shade. And I'm just going to apply it just, just a tad bit, okay? Just a tad bit. And I'm using my taper brush. And I'm going to first get the color where I want it to be. And then I'm going to go back and blend it out. And I'm going to go and I'm going to blend out the edges of it.
And then now that I have that blended, I am going to go back in with my fluffy blending brush in my first shade. I'm going to dip just a little bit. I'm going to blend out the harsh line. I hope y'all can see. Let me zoom in some. Okay, I zoomed in some because I don't know if y'all can see because I feel like I was so far back. But I'm just going to take it in. Blend out the edges and I wanted the two colors to blend like effortlessly together. So I am going to add my eyelid color. Now normally I am a cut crease type of person. But I'm going to opt out for a cut crease today. And I'm just going to give you like just like a nice even maybe opt out I don't know y'all because I always opt out for the, for not doing a cut crease and I end up not liking it and then I end up going back and doing a cut crease anyways so fingers crossed we do not cut crease today okay so next I'm gonna I'm sticking with the um crayon case palette because I want to keep it majority all matte um colors like I don't want to Add shimmer or anything. So I am going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to pull it back so y'all can see the rose. So I want to take this brown shade right here. And I am going to apply that as my mobile eyelid color. I want it to be like super smooth. Okay, y'all. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. I just love cut creases because, as you can see, like my um, eyelid, my mobile lid is literally right here. So I have like an overfold. So maybe if like my lids didn't flap over, I would love any look. But I'm cut creasing it, okay? Sorry. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fun. And I am going to take just a small um, eyeshadow brush that I use to clean up my brows. And I'm going to dust this off a little bit with my finger first. And then I'm going to cut my crease. Now, if y'all want a full, like, cut crease video, because, like, it's going to be kind of hard. I don't want this video to be too long, first of all. And then I don't want it to be strictly about the cut crease. So, if you want a cut crease, like, in-depth tutorial video, then just comment below. And I will surely, surely give you guys a video on how I cut my crease. Because I have, I don't have hoodie leaves, but I have like semi hoodie eyelids. Now I'm only going to do a half a cut crease. Not a full cut crease. And I'm still going to give you this the same look that I just did I just feel like um, my eyeshadow applies what looks better to me when I cut my crease so I'm taking this is just a um, I wouldn't call it a blending brush but it's more like a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm using that to pat my concealer into my eyelid so that way it doesn't crease up and then it blends it into my skin smoothly and then once I have that done I'm going to set it I always set any product where I'm using concealer I set it because of how my eyelids are made so I'm just going to set it lightly like you don't have to set it harsh to where you can see the setting powder sitting up and stuff like you could just set it lightly. Now that I have 
decreased cuts. Let me zoom in. Okay, so now that I have the crease cut, I'm gonna go back in with yeah the same eyeshadow right here. This eyeshadow right here, and I'm going to pat that on top of my eyelid. Well, my <laughs> where my crease is. I don't know why I said eyelid, and it's literally, honestly, almost the same color. As the concealer, it basically is the same color. But <laughs> I wanted to add the eyeshadow on, anyways. Have the color on I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown shade and I'm just gonna blend like how you can see this is uneven I'm just gonna take it and literally go back and forth right in this area to blend the two together and this will give you a gradient effect and it doesn't look like you just place two eyeshadows there And I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to do my bottom waterline first. Because I am going to use a liquid eyeliner for the top. And I don't want to, you know, look up and down and it's wet. So I'm just taking, this is just a black, it's actually, like, I'm burning out on it. But this is a wet and wild, um... I want to say this is a wet and wild, yeah, a wet and wild eyeliner, and it's just in the shade black, and I'm going to line the bottom. My eyes water so bad, y'all, like crazy. So once I have that line, I'm going to go in with um, the dark brown the dark brown shade that we used on our um, outer crease right here. And I am going to apply that underneath my eyeshadow. I mean, not my eyeshadow, my eyeliner. And this is just going to give me like a nice smoky effect underneath my eyes. Liquid liner. Um, this liquid liner was from my cosmetic line, which right now is on the pause. But I'm looking to um, relaunch it soon. So I'm just going to, I, I don't think I'm going to do a wing eyeliner. I'm just going to do a... Um, just a plain regular eyeliner. I am taking this highlighter right here. You can't see it because it's white. But um, this highlighter is from my cosmetic line. Which will be first dabbed in the area that I want. And I'm going to blend it together. Now I'm going to take my finger. And press it into my skin. Just using tapping motions. So that my highlight can blend a little bit better. Versus, and I do do it on my blush area because I'm extra. You don't have to be extra. And then I'm going to do the other side. And I'm putting this at the highest points of my cheek area. Y'all see that? Oh, hold on. Brush it over, brush it over. Oh, the highlight might be a little too much, but it's alright. Lip. 
tip of my nose and I go right here I don't go straight down the center of my nose I just like to keep it right here at the beginning of the bridge nose oh highlight pop in oh oh lips now I had to pause for a second um my baby was being a baby so I'm going to remove take a baby wipe and just remove um any of the foundation that acquired on my lip <laughs> Okay, so for my lip combo, if you hear any crying in the back, that's my baby. Like, he do what he want to do because he's only one. So, if he go cry, he go cry. If y'all hear it, y'all just hear it, okay? But um, as far as my lip combo that I just did, I used a um, dark brown lip liner, which will be launching from my line. As well as the lipstick called um, Skin Tight from the line as well. And then I am using this um, Sigma lip gloss. This is in the shade... Hint. And it's like a um, like a pink nude type of gloss. And that is pretty much it for this look. I'm going to set my face and I'm using um, Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And I got the mini version. I got this from Ulta. I needed a sample version before I buy a big version. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. <laughs> I don't know. I always do that. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. As you can see, highlight popping, cut crease popping, lashes popping, okay? Everything is just popping, basically. So, um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope to see you on the next video. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for following me through this journey. If you're a long time subscriber, thank you so much. I gladly appreciate you all for not unsubscribing because I literally have not posted in a million years. But thank you anyways. Make sure you are following me on all my social media pages which will be down in the description box below. You guys check out my skincare and cosmetic line which will be launching really soon. Is my eyebrows raising? trying to make a raise <laughs> but yeah it'll be launching really soon a bliss of spencer and yeah make sure you check out my tees which i will try to link down below as well and that's pretty much it for this video uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're already a subscriber tell a friend to subscribe we want to grow this channel and i will see you in the next one bye